Hi, I'm Brandon and I like to print stuff. Hello there, internet type peoples. It is me, Brandon Hart, the Eco Struder, and I just wanted to make this real quick video here. Um, just kind of bring some awareness to a project that's going on that uh, HeartSmart Products and, and myself happen to be participating in, um, and that is Hope3D's uh, Project Reef program. Um, so most of you are probably aware, if you're not, then uh, newsflash. Um, the reefs are dying, the coral is dying. Um, the water pollution, the rising uh, temperatures, uh, the you know, global warming as it's called, um, are increasing the amount of coral and the rate at which coral is dying all around the world. So, what can we do about it? Well, um, there are multiple attempts to do different types of things, but Hope3D specifically has created this uh, idea, this model of creating essentially, um, I don't know if this, this isn't probably what they call it, um, but this uh, uh, nursery for baby coral. Again, not their words, my words, but it kind of seems to be what it is. Um, so essentially there is a large, and I'll throw some pictures up here, there's a large three foot by three foot by three foot structure that is composed of all of these different parts and essentially um, they're all made to slide together so that um, you know everything can kind of be assembled separate or uh, be printed separately and then fit together afterward Uh, and essentially this is being crowdsourced. And um, so people like myself are jumping on board and volunteering to create all these individual parts. Each one has its own coordinate as to where it fits. There are a total of about 400 different parts that are being um, printed and, and created and shipped in by people from all over the world. Um, and, uh, and, and essentially it's all gonna be taken to Belize Belize, ba Bailey's, Bailey's, Belize, where it will then be put together into this big structure filled with sand and then the uh, the little baby coral will find a home in this little spot right here um, and uh, and that's where it will be able to grow and hopefully eventually all of this plastic itself because it's all PLA uh, will eventually biodegrade and you're left with a new coral reef. Pretty cool project. Um, I'm very, very happy to contribute to something like this. And just as an extra bonus, <laughs> it allowed me to uh, kill off some, some partial schools um, that I had and, and some materials that uh, weren't my favorite. So got a bunch of this peach sort of color. Um, I think is blush is the actual color name. Uh, I've got some DOS filament. Uh, this was actually, I bought this specifically because they were the first ones to support the Master Spool from uh, Rich Wrap. A little shout out to Master Spool from Rich Wrap. Um, uh, I had some uh, Hatchbox green PLA that was just not enough to do anything with. So you can kind of see, you know, I ran out of the, of the blush color and then switched over to the green mid print. Um, I was able to do that with the uh, Lulzbot Taz and its new pause function, which is built into Marlin. So you can pause it, move the head over, swap your filament, and go back into it again. Um, so a variety of different colors. Some of them are, you know, again, mixed colors, but I kind of think that's cool. But anyway, um, like I said, I want to make this a quick video, but a uh, really cool project. Check it out, hope3d.org slash project dash reef, I think. 
the actual URL will be down at the bottom of the screen and I'll put it in the description as well. But um, yeah, I'm gonna throw these in a box, ship them on out, and they'll be part of the new Project Reef in Belize. Be yeah, pretty sure that's how that's pronounced. <laughs> anyway, feel free to correct me in the comments, but, uh, but yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you watching. Um, check the description for social media links, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn is even in there. Um, and, uh, and the website, heartsmartproducts.com. But until next time, thank you very much.